Yo, what's up guys and welcome back to the next part of my VGC Road to Rank. I of course am PokemD and today we're going to be uh, using this team for the last time. Shout out to Pop-Tart for the team we are going to be using. Uh, if you guys missed the previous episode, there's a playlist down below. I encourage you to check that out. Still in the 1500s, <laughs> unfortunately. But we are making our way out of it one more time. Like we've gotten out of the 1500s so many times. I think I peaked 1700 or something. Murkrow, Togedomaru. It's not that bad. I can fake out. A dazzling gleam versus everything. He has a trick room mode and he has a he has a tailwind mode too. His team is just I don't know how to deal with like I definitely think that Aerodactyl is good. Being able to taunt mimic you is pretty big. Um, though otherwise it's useless versus Metagross, which is why I like Garchomp. Actually surprisingly like Raichu plus Coco in the back. I think that's pretty big as well. Cause um Raichu, even if he manages to get up tailwind and I don't Raichu deals with, uh, no. I actually like Raichu plus Aerodactyl. I can fake out Togedomaru and I can taunt something. I think it's a weird lead, but... Because I can always HP ground Togedomaru after. And I can... It is an odd lead, but it also doesn't put me at a straight-up disadvantage versus Mimikyu... Uh, excuse me, versus... Um, Tapu Fini. Tapu Fini plus Togedomaru as a lead. Uh, Coco in the back is pretty cool. I don't think Garchomp. Scarf Garchomp can just click Earthquake in this game. Uh, so that's why I'm actually leading off with Raichu plus Aerodactyl. Getting off a fast fake out versus Togedomaru, pretty cr uh, crucial. And I can also HP. I outspeed in the following turn, guaranteed, even without the terrain. Um, and it, it, like I said, it doesn't give me that straight up bad lead matchup versus uh, like Tapu Fini or something like that. So that's why I like Raichu plus Aerodactyl in that. So, Metagross. Tailwind isn't the most necessary. I want to make the read so badly of just rock sliding plus uh, HP grounding into Metagross. I'm actually going to do it. I'm a, it's a, this is a game like three with this team. I'll make the play. I'm a rock slide plus HP ground into the Metagross slot, ex expecting him to go Togo tomorrow. I don't think you should stay in with Tapu Fini ever on this, but maybe he'll go... I'm gonna do it. I might activate his weakness policy. I might regret this. So basically, my opponent was gonna let me Thunderbolt the Tapu Fini for free. And I'm gonna activate Metagross's weakness policy now. That's great. Assuming it is weakness policy. Swagger. Are you... What berry are you? <laughs> Walk on berry? So, yeah, I could have knocked out. I wanted to make the play. Why? Wow, he got plus three. Jesus. I'm going to rock slide HP ground. Like, I think Tapu Fini should switch out. I can Thunderbolt you. I'm HP ground on top of Phoenix slot. Like, if he doesn't bullet punch here, I get the hit off on Togemaru. That doesn't give me much, though. Yeah, it does if he's not in a balloon. I don't know. I'm in a bad situation now. I think I just want Stoke Spark Surf. <laughs> I, that turn one didn't make much sense to me because I could just knock out Top of Fini there. I'm going to do it. I'm still going to try and do it. Like, I'm definitely scared of Togemaru on the back. Does he just not have Togemaru on the back? Does he just not have it? If he doesn't, then I, I discharge spam in the end anyway, but... Hopefully Rock Slide does something cool here. He just doesn't care about the fact I have an Electric type out in the field. I'm just getting power predicted. That's what it is. Shattered Psyche, I bet, too. <laughs> I'm getting power predicted, man. That's what the hell it is. Tectonic Rage. Yes, of course it is. I don't understand. I really don't. I need to just not predict. This isn't best of three. I just got to attack what's in front of me. And not assume Togo tomorrow comes. Like, if you have Togo tomorrow, you always go Togo tomorrow there. If Togo tomorrow comes out this turn, I'll be so mad when Coco comes out. 
I'm really gonna be mad. I'm just Rock Sign, Thunderbolt, Metagross. I don't have a better play. If Tapu Fini switches out to Togemaru, I might just walk away. I'm gonna walk away if this is Togemaru. Yeah. Yeah, we're ending here. Yeah, no. 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 No, that's unacceptable. That is unacceptable. Why would you ever stay in? Raichu runs. No. No. No, 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 no. 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 Nah. Nah, this ain't an episode. It's a blooper. Screw that. It's done. This is actually done. Nah. Nah. Never. No. Nah. No. No. Nah. No. That makes no sense. This series of plays makes zero sense. I know I'm new to VGC, but that makes no sense. Nah. 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 Unacceptable. No. I don't believe it. I can't. I should just discharge too, because I, I could have just went Garchomp. But like... Miss. Ah, that made no sense to me, guys. Am I wrong? Yo, I need a I need Rock Slide plus Earthquake to just sweep through his team with flinches, protects, and all that crap. No. Nah. I can't accept that. It's my loss, but I, I don't understand the thought process in front of an electric type. I'm gonna swagger my Metagross. Nah. No. Nah, I'm stuck on this. Hey, Rock Slide, do your thing, bro. He obviously doesn't have a bullet punch. Because he ain't going for it. This boy about to bullet punch me too. Alright, Earthquake, Crit, Metagross, Crit, and or Rock Side Flinch. Either or. No, actually Crit. Crit, Metagross. That's better because I don't want Togo tomorrow faking me out. Crit the hell out of Metagross. Ooh, that did no damage. Flinch. Rock Slide, I need you to flinch Metagross. Please, flinch him. Flinch this man. Miss. Ah. What was this game? I'm, I'm, I don't understand. I just talked about it too, attacking what's in front of me because I don't understand. Togemaru should always come in. I understand you wouldn't be able to set up uh, Metagross, right? If you didn't bring it until tomorrow. But I could have beaten his 4 too. If I Z'd right into Tabo Fini, it died. He didn't get to swagger Metagross. Yeah, we're running from this. Nah, 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 nah. This was, this was an unbattle. This was an unbattle. This was actually an unbattle. That man did not predict my HP ground, okay? I'm gonna tell you that right now. Ain't no right to set running HP ground, but this right to right. Let me actually smoke on that call. Let's, let's check small line. Let's check Nugget Bridge real quick. Cause my word, I want it to be right. Right you. Load, horse. I don't see no rock. I don't see no HP ground on this. I don't see no HP ground on this. No. My thought process anyway, because he could have just meteor mashed my um my Aerodactyl and then gone out into Togo tomorrow and you know faked out. But <laughs> I'll see no HP ground, other options, Electro Ball, Hidden Power Ice can be used. Oh. Aha. Aha. Yeah, it can be used. But ain't no HP ground. I'm mad. Yeah, I'm mad. I'm not I'm like what I'm just blown away by, uh... and this is a difference between doubles and singles, man. If in singles, if my opponent makes a play like that and I have balance, I can come back. Because all I got to do is uh, protect my Celestilla, use Zapdos, Clefable, whatever Tog's effects, I'll beat him with just those three. 
But this man, I lost too many Pokemon. No. That's not okay, though. Oh, this is an episode, though. Let's keep going. I'm getting three battles in this one. Screw it. I can't. That was an unbattle, I swear. I don't know. <sighs> oh, well. I'm gonna go ahead and, you know, keep looking. <laughs> like a fool. <laughs> See, that's a game, that's a team that I know I would have been able to play back in best of three. Because Raichu, you, you know, Psyche MZ is a big one that it can run. Um, and I think Alolan Raichu MZ too, because, you know, Thunderbolt, whatnot. Psyche MZ is also, you know, big because it also deals with... Um, the, uh, what's it called? The, the Marowak coming in. Where are my battles at, bro? I'm trying to listen to this Gladian music. Yo, I can't. I can't get over that battle. I actually can't. Like, I was about to turn off that recording and just go to sleep and screw it and return and record this tomorrow or switch over teams. I can't. The opposing character cannot be found. Please try again. Oh, my bad. See, I didn't see that. I wasn't even paying attention to my DS. I should probably do that more often. Damn, man. They don't even want to give me games anymore because they know I'm, like, how did I lose that? That made no sense, man. That made no sense, man. <laughs> I'm trying to make sense of that play, man. <laughs> Maybe he predicted you to HP ground. The token tomorrow some shit. I can't wait. I hope I see that comment. You right, bro. That man definitely predicted me to HP ground. Tectonic Rage Metagross. Predicted the hell out of me. <laughs> Yo, this is just like the ladder on showdown, I swear. And I'm trash too, so it's like. How do you even get to 1390? I'm about to lose to a 1390, man. <laughs> Alright, I see Trick Room. I'm going to go uh, Chomp for Arrow. This in the back is great. Token tomorrow. I mean, Token, <laughs> token tomorrow. <laughs> Where the hell am I, man? Coco uh, Raichu is really good. Uh, really strong back end as well. I go Buzzwool. Uh, but yeah, like he doesn't have anything for Discharge, for example. Discharge, like, plus Garchomp, smacks him. Um, and I like Garchomp a lot, plus Aerodactyl, because I can Poison Jab, Rock Slide, knock out Lele. Um, deal with the Mimikyu, for example, as well. I might lose my uh, Garchomp turn one. Maybe I won't care if he gets a Trick Room. No, he could definitely Revenge Sweep me if he gets a Trick Room. So, uh, if he leads, let's say it's Vikavolt plus um, Mimikyu? A Mimikyu Muck. Nice. This is just a free Earthquake plus Taunt. Even if he has Celesteel, that don't matter. Celesteel is definitely coming out, but I'm not going to bother predicting crap, bro. I'm going to Taunt the Mimikyu, and that Celesteel can come the hell out if it wants to. I would love to actually go Coco here. Um... Expecting him to go Celesteel, right? But, yeah, no. No, we're not going to predict. No. Not, la not at the last game. Predictions are... are Is that a crit? No, that just died. Yeah, predictions are for best of threes. How did Muck die? Was that level 50? Nah, you ain't getting no trick run up here. Yeah, Muck died. Play rough into me. Ah, uh, go ahead and eat, my boy. I like that. Break a potential sash, too. Whatever. You know that Muck wasn't sad. That boy dropped, man. Why did they do nothing to Garchomp? Garchomp broken. Like, straight up. Oh, you have a Garchomp of your own, you say. Does he have in the back? I should probably think about this. And I want my next two. My Tailwind. To ensure festivities. And I'm an earthquake. That way I can just dazzle and gleam after. Assuming he's not Scarf Chomp, right? 
Um, I should be able to do Earthquake puts them in range of Dazzling Gleam, and Tailwind ensures that my Cocoa outspeeds everything anyway. This will do a ton. Yeah, Jesus, man, that does way too much. Why are, oh, it's a crit. I was about to say, why is Pokemon taking so much damage? I could have also Rock Side there, too. Oh, he actually went for Rock Side, so that's fine. That doesn't even put my Aerodactyl in range of Sneak. That's crazy. And I unfortunately avoid an attack, so terrible for my opponent. Um, right, let's just click two of the best moves in the game. Earthquake and Rock Slide. We ain't gonna predict crap. Also her, uh, works if he goes Vikavolt. Nope, just stays in. So because of the crit before, this should be able to get rid of Garchomp. And we'll definitely get rid of Mimikyu. And I still have Tailwind up. I have all four Pokemon. And I have Taunt on Aerodactyl. If something scares the hell out of me. And even if it's like an agility Vikavolt, I have Tailwind up. Yeah, definitely Vikavolt last. So, I have Tailwind up, and I'm actually about to pull back into my Coco to ensure that my Raichu outspeeds, so. I can Sky Drop him. Why not? There's a million reasons why I shouldn't Sky Drop him, but I'm gonna do it. Switch out the Coco. Get my Coco in. Uh, for free, and I don't want to miss Rock Slide, I guess. I don't know. I don't, I don't see how I lose this. And I'm getting a third one after this. Because that first one, that's an unbattle. Come to the air, my friend. It's funny because I actually don't, like, hit him. Thunderbolt should hit you in the air. Which is dazzling gleam. I'm pretty sure Thunderbolt specs and electric train is about the same strength, but if not stronger. Then again, Aerodactyl does go first, so yeah, never mind. This will hit him. Nice. Is it weakness policy? It's a red card. Boy, where are you going? <laughs> Our Garchomp, cool. What if he Thunderbolts in that slot? That'd be funny. Uh, but now, uh, if he doesn't Thunderbolt, I don't lose Garchomp. I just Dragon Claw, Dazzling Gleam. Or this just knocks out. What? Were there Eevees in this game? I can't tell. I'm getting another game after, though. Man, red carded me out. Red card Vikavolt. I like the red card item a lot uh, in singles. A jack button is also a really cool item, especially when trapping was allowed. I'm not sure how I feel about it in this. Maybe it'd be cool with like Parish Trap. I'm sure somebody used it at some point. I don't want to save that video. If you could actually delete the first video from my mind, I'd appreciate that. <laughs> All right, Kuma, you can say I'm trash now, bro. You you deserve it. Go ahead. You've been leaving that comment all the time anyway. Go ahead and leave it. Coco Tapu. Alright, so I see Drifton plus Lele. I actually really, really, really like Arrow Garchomp in this because I just Rock Slide plus Poison Jab into Lele. Um, Coco in the back is strong, especially versus Celestilla and whatnot. My Lodic isn't bad because it deals with Garchomp plus Arcanine. A Raichu also is okay. Then I'm gonna go my Lodic. I haven't brought Buzzwell once. Have I? I don't think I have. I think this is the match, like the way I went though when I, uh, when I played uh, versus a matchup like this in the ladder. I think I went my Lodic um, over, over Raichu. But yeah, basically I Rock Slide and I, uh, I Poison Jab into Lele. Uh, it doesn't work if. Because I can also match the Tailwind. So that's another thing I can do. Um, if Assuming Lele protects, I can match Tailwind, right? And then I can... Uh, if, if Lele doesn't protect and he goes for Tailwind of his own, I Rock Slide plus Poison Jab, knock that boy out. Knock that girl out. Knock that whatever out. Because I'm thinking Drift and Lele lead. But if it's Coco plus anything, Garchomp Arrow deals with it anyway. My Lota gives me a switch into Arcanine, which is why I like it. And also uh, a check to... Lele, depending on what it is, check the Cell Steela, check the Garchomp. Again, depending on those. Did I not pick my Pokemon? Because it said time out. I was like, crap. I like your outfit. Whoever the hell you are. I'm about to call her Lily. You ain't no Lily, though. Actually, thinking about it, 
probably should have let off a Raichu considering it outspeeds Drifflim 100% of the time. So I think I let the wrong lead. But let's see how this works out. Yep. So I definitely think I let the wrong lead here. Because if he does protect Lele, why isn't Misty Seed or uh, Psychic Seed considered a berry? I call it a berry. Because he could also Willow is my Garchomp. I'm just going to Rock Slide and... What's the worst that can happen out of this turn? Okay, you know what? We're in Tailwind up here. And we're going to Poison Jab into Lele. Like, best case scenario for me, he protects Lele and Tailwinds himself. Also, will can can miss. I don't, I don't mind this, though, because I, I get up the initial Tailwind, so my team will be faster. And I, getting off any damage on Lele is nice. So I'm okay with this. Though, of course, it does make Coco a little bit harder to deal with. But we do guarantee outspeed everything now. My Dazzling Gleam here. Psychics. It's Arrow. Yeah, that's completely fine. So beautiful Tailwind here. And it is Life Orb Lele, so it does go down. I don't think I want to stay in here. I think I'm going to taunt Drifblim and... Um, to prevent it from going for Tailwind, assuming Lele does protect here, as he predicts my Rock Slide, I'm going to taunt Drifblim and Poison Jab into Lele. Yeah, okay. So we taught Drifblim to prevent the... Um, to prevent its own Tailwind. We both guarantee outspeed it because of Tailwind and whatnot. He could also Shadow Ball, I guess, but whatever. Yeah, so can use Tailwind. Nice, nice, nice. And communication with the server was interrupted. Was that me who disconnected or my opponent? I'm hoping that was my opponent. Don't tell me it was me. Of course it was me. Yeah, because I DC after I uh, I taunted the uh, the Drifflum, right? Yeah, because, you know, Pokemon PG, so I gave him the finger and uh, with that taunt, and they kicked me off the server. Obviously, that's what happened right there. I can't catch a break, man. <laughs> what the heck? I hope that was my opponent. It just looks like I got disconnected, too. Because, like, oh, my opponent DCs, I disconnect, too. I don't know. Just give me a break game. Please. Just one little break. It makes me sad. I think I was doing fine. Um, like that game, I don't think it could have been much better. But We shall look for another one. And once again, I think five or six of our losses so far in this, both on recorded and the one that I didn't get to record because it just disconnected, were because of DCs. So, maybe I'll never, <laughs> I'll never get better. We're going to go another game with this. You know how we usually do two games and we're already at battle number four right now? Yeah. Doesn't look like I got the loss, but it takes a while for it to update. Let me team skull admin, man. Give me the big boss now. Rice VGC, let's go, bro. That's where I could play this, dude. All right, Mandy Lele isn't bad. Um, Coco, it's always Coco Raichu in here, always. Cause I dazzling gleam Stoke Park Surfer. Get rid of that. Uh, in the back, Garchomp is clean. Just clicks Earthquake. Half his team is grounded. Gives me a secondary check to the. Uh, gives me a check to that. No, dude, I could win this game easily. Gives me a check to Arcanine and Cartana. Coco, Garchomp, you know what? <laughs> One more. One more. One more. How's a game I could show off the Stokes Park Surfer? <sighs> Battle number five. Fifth time's a try. There has to be something with the... Game Sync was canceled because more time has passed before you can use game... Are you kidding me, man? This 
is your fault. It's not your fault. My bad, bro. <sighs> okay, guys. So, um... I don't know if this means I can still play. I'm gonna try. Sure. You know, I just disconnected twice. I think I should just stop. Six times the charm? Fifth charm? Six? Battle number 400? I don't know. My rating gonna say like 1504. Help me. Help me, please. 1551. Oh, great. Love those losses to disconnects. Thank you, game. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Thank you. Who cares if I have freaking Verizon gigabit files, gig, whatever, thousand up, a thousand down, but you know, on my 3DS, can't connect. <laughs> Who cares, man? I'm going crazy. All right, it's, uh, it's Torkoal plus Lilligant. So I lead Raichu plus Coco. I fake out Lilligant and I Thunderbolt into the, uh, into the, uh, that slot, the, the, the Coco. <laughs> that slot over there. Torkoal. Um, my Lilligant in the back deals with Torkoal potentially, Hariyama potentially, Celestilla, Garchomp, whatnot. And uh, speaking of Garchomp, I think Garchomp's actually pretty good in this. Being another fire resist, having a scarf on it. The good thing is, I am guaranteed faster than um, Torkoal with Raichu in the second turn, so that's why Fake Out plus um, Thunderbolt is a safe play. He does have a Trick Room mode, though, which I didn't really account for, but assuming he goes to Trick Room mode, he'd bring Hariyama plus uh, Oranguru, right? And I can Fake Out at least Hariyama, and then Thunderbolt into Oranguru, do a little bit of damage and whatnot. Maybe Dazzling Gleam as well might be a little bit better, just because it deals with the Garchomp coming in. Like, he has a full Trick Room mode, and he has... Uh, the sun mode in general. Please just let me battle. I mean, at this point, I'm probably just going to lose because I'm, I'm getting frustrated. Trying my best just to make a video, you know. Got my pole game in the bandy. Hey, this look kind of clean on this. I don't even know your name. How do you say that? Pokemon trainer is half smiley face. Alright, so I don't care what Torkoal does this. I'm just going to Z directly into Oranguru, and I'm a Thunderbolt into Oranguru and knock that boy out. Like, there's no way Torkoal doesn't protect here on the Trick Room. I don't. I refuse to believe Torkoal would not protect here. I'm Zing directly into Oranguru. And I'm a Thunderbolt Oranguru as well. Coco should, uh, Torkoal should protect. Always. Always. I knock you out if you don't. I'm not going to fake out Oranguru because it could have inner focus as one of its abilities. I hate Oranguru's abilities, man. What is the other one? Telepathy, I think? Yeah, okay. So we're knocking out this Oranguru this turn. Assuming it's Mental Herb, of course. So we're about to surf all over this Oranguru, and then I guarantee knock it out uh, Torkoal next turn with Thunderbolt. That's like a guaranteed KO. Surf, my child. Surf, buddy pal. Go ahead. Surf all over him. I love it. Surfing your 10 frames per second. It almost killed. Jesus Christ. And I got the uh, guarantee para. All right, so we get rid of Oranguru and successfully prevent Trick Room from coming up. Yay. Electric Train also means the Lilligant 50-50s with Sleep Powder are gone. Trick Room has been successfully prevented, but I cannot Stoke Spark that, uh, that Hariyama. I don't even care who the hell he fakes out here. I am Thunderbolting Torkoal with both of these. It doesn't matter which one he fakes out because either one of them knocks out with Specs, which is Coco, or the other one gets out like 70% on it, which is Raichu. He could also switch out uh, Torkoal and uh, Garchomp if he brought it. But if he did bring Garchomp, his entire team is grounded, and your boy gets to click Earthquake. Also, my Lodic has a good matchup. 
bottom screen. I know you're communicating, bro. But please tell whoever you're communicating with to not disconnect my game. Ooh, lovely damage. Ah, he anyway, smart man. I don't think that knocks out Raichu, though. Raichu bulky. I lost, I lost Coco, though, which is unfortunate. It's Life Orb, too. Damn. And it's Flame Orb Hariyama. I have to go Garchomp here, I believe. And, um... I don't want to lock myself in a rock slide. I actually do want to EQ. And I want to save Raichu just in case he has Celesteel in the back. So I'm going to switch to my Lodic. And I am going to Earthquake with my, uh, my Garchomp here. And this is okay if he does close combat directly into Garchomp. All right, um, and then he has uh, his last Mon as... Um, his last mon has his own Garchomp because I can fake it out with Raichu and then just Ice Beam it with my Lodic. Maybe I played this wrong. Maybe I should have Psyched that turn and then Earthquaked. Because I get the, I, I guarantee the KO. But if it's last mon Celestilla, I need Raichu alive. And my Lodic does take the spread move. It doesn't take it well, but it takes it. It is Celestilla. Yeah, so I had to do this play. I wonder if you close combat into uh oh, death is so much. There's rock slides. Okay, that should activate if this is guts. So that should activate my uh my fat berry. My fat berry. Yes. Oh, it does not. Unfortunately. Alright, so we uh protect with my Lodic because Earthquake will knock us out. And we earthquake here on the Hariyama. And hope that Hariyama knocks out. I actually have to switch out guards on a point. Uh, I don't like that. Because I can't... I didn't expect Rock Slide from Hariyama, that's for sure. Guns are so busted, man, in everything. I think I definitely should have... Um, pushed out Coco into my Lodic, actually. Oh, yeah, he goes directly into Torkoal, so that's fine. Now, the reason this is fine is because if he goes back out into Hariyama and fakes out my Lodic, it does activate my Barry. Um, and this also gets rid of the 50-50 with Torkoal you waving and whatnot. But it does activate my Barry. And that also means I can recover. And if he fakes out Garchomp, then I get off a recover anyway. We're also stalling out Sun Turns. I think there's only one left, if not the Sun... Oh, God. Jesus Christ. <laughs> not him. No. So ideally he fakes out, um, he doesn't have to fake out anybody actually. He just lets me earthquake myself, doesn't he? Well, I recover here, always, and we earthquake with, uh, we hope he uh, fakes out my Melodic actually, or Garchomp, like either way I get a recover off. And as long as we stall out the sun, we're good. I don't think I beat Celestilla 1v1, my, my Lodic might be able to pull through, but I'm not 100% sure, because he doesn't have to. Hmm. Yeah, because I'm locked into Earthquake. Man, sub Celesteela of all things. No, not him. Another Celesteela loss. This has not been my day. Take out my Lotus, though, so I get my Barry, please. So I get my recover off. And he has Protect. So I just knocked out my own Milotic. Ha! Ah. Is this non fake out Hariyama? Yeah, that's game. What a day, man. What is that, four or five losses? It makes me sad that the DCs obviously accounted for a few of them. Hmm. I think I should have Volt switched on Oranguru. Because Coco would have just clicked Discharge here next to Garchomp and won. 
All right, we're gonna run here. I'm I'm sad. I don't. Know, this loss doesn't matter. It's whatever to me. But now how do I make my Garchomp die? Garchomp faint. Faint. Where's my option to put him to sleep? Oh, <laughs> put my DS to sleep. I will run here because I just earthly myself. Uh, well, Arrow could have been cool there. Um, I got I like Arrow plus Raichu lead actually would have been decent. I think it, when I do see a Trick Room Center plus Hariyama, Arrow Raichu isn't bad because you could fake it out. But like basically, what I could have done was um, Rock Slide plus Stoke Spark Server, but I don't think it would have knocked them out without the uh, without the electric terrain. But yeah, I ran already, so. I'm just sad, man. This episode has been all over the place. I'm sorry, bro, that I didn't do your team justice. And, yeah, this episode makes me sad. Just in general, like all the DCs and whatnot. In the games, I felt like I was playing well. And then, you know, the game takes it away. <laughs> I'm going to do some off-screen laddering uh, with the uh, with MV's team, most likely. Because that team I'm, doesn't matter how my opponent plays. Uh, but thank you everybody for watching. Hope you guys all enjoyed my uh, my struggles. I feel defeated. I feel defeated as hell. Uh, but we'll end it there, guys. So leave a like, check out my playlist, and goodbye, friends.